Well, back to our election coverage now. Challenger Ed Fallone in Milwaukee tonight, a loser in the race for Supreme Court Justice to Justice Pat Rogensack. Ten more years for Rogensack, and our team coverage continues live. Margo Spann standing by with Professor Ed Fallone. Margo? That's right, Eric. It was a tough loss, and I'm here with Professor Ed Fallone. Can you tell me, how are you feeling right now at this point? Well, I feel good. We ran a serious campaign. I think we ran a very... A good campaign. I'm thankful for all the supporters across the state, and I think that we've talked about real issues that the court needs to address going forward. I know one thing that you mentioned to your supporters just a minute ago is that the race may be over, but you plan to continue this fight. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, just because the election's over doesn't mean that we still don't have issues relating to controlling campaign contributions in our judicial races and uh, looking at the disciplinary procedures for our judges and ways that we can improve that. So I plan on continuing to speak out on these issues. But I wish the justices the best of luck uh, and Justice Rogensack and the other members of the court. I hope that they can begin to heal the divisions on our court. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate you talking with us. So we're going to toss it back to you in Madison from now. Um, it's a tough loss here, but the momentum still remains high, and folks are still very excited to, you know, talk to uh, Professor Fallon right now. So we're going to toss things back to you in Madison. All right, Margot Spann, live in Milwaukee. Thank you, Margot.